Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. How does toxic mold impact our body and how does it get into our body? Let's talk about the three common ways it gets into our system. First one is inhalation of spores or mycotoxins into the lungs, breaking down the lung barrier into the bloodstream and becoming systemic. Olfactory nerve. People don't realize that the spores or the mycotoxins can get into the nasal cavity and go directly into the olfactory nerve, bypassing the lung barrier. So it gets into the brain and causes neuroinflammation. Ingestion of mold. We talked about this last week. Certain foods, grains, nuts, seeds, even coffee can have mold infestation as a result of being stored for long periods of time. So when you eat foods that have it, it goes into the gut and starts to break down the gut barrier both mechanically and chemically, and it can create the breakdown of the intestinal barrier or leaky gut or intestinal permeability or what they call dysbiosis. And then things get into our bloodstream and again, impacting things systemically. So mole spores are the ones that tend to create mole sensitivity or mold allergies, right? And it can activate pre-existing conditions, things like autoimmune conditions, thyroiditis, rheumatoid arthritis, it also will trigger asthma for a lot of people. Traumatic brain injury, right? If you had a concussion, it can trigger microglial activation and cause neuroinflammation. If you have joint pain, degenerative uh, knee or back, it can create pain. Neurodegenerative changes, okay? Alzheimer's, dementia, it can really speed things up. Autism or autism spectrum um, children, are more susceptible for mold or mold toxicity. Definitely recurrent sinus infection is a telltale sign of mold. And depression, because mold spores can create neural inflammation and actually impact mood and depression. Mycotoxins, this is where things get really serious. Mold illness, okay? Tissue damage impacting the liver, the brain, the kidneys, right? Intestinal barriers, causes global inflammation, oxidative stress, or mitochondrial damage or uncoupling, meaning chronic debilitating fatigue, severe neuroinflammation, cognitive decline, Alzheimer's, dementia, right? It really can impact the body systemically and cause a lot of tissue damage and disability. So, when someone like this with mold sensitivity, right, they go into a room and stay there for five minutes and they know almost immediately like, oh, wait a minute, this room is moldy, right? They're almost having an immediate response, right? So these are the people who have that sensitivity and they actually know when they're in a moldy environment. These patients are severely ill. Okay? They can even get out of the environment and still have the residual uh, tissue damage and causing long-term disability. Mold can impact every aspect of your life and because it can create disability, it causes financial hardship, they have to move, um, they lose their job, they can't function, so it's a re really, really debilitating uh, condition with mold or mycotoxin toxicity and mold spores. All right, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.